polls are now closed in Guatemala's tumultuous presidential election, but the early count indicates no clear winner, which means Sandra Torres and Bernardo Arevalo, the top two candidates, are headed to a runoff in August. The lead up to this year's vote has not been easy. Siempre votamos por el menos peor, ¿verdad? Creo que estamos um, igual o peor que años anteriores. La mayoría eh, hemos venido votando de esa forma, ¿verdad? Lastimosamente. Y, y últimamente, pues, cada vez hay menos intención de salir a votar. In Guatemala, voting is mandatory, but that did not stop voters from sitting out in a move designed to show a rejection of the system. With the majority of the votes counted, the number of blank and null votes was at 25 percent. Public trust in the electoral process is low. A mixture of corruption charges, jailed journalists, and a lack of transparency left voters apathetic. Three popular opposition candidates were disqualified early in the run-up. The decisions were heavily criticized. The disqualifications drew increased scrutiny when the same court voted to permit Zuri Rios, daughter of Efrain Rios Montt, a former dictator convicted of genocide, to run for public office. This decision went against a specific law that explicitly prohibits family members of individuals involved in a coup from holding political positions. Las decisiones que han tenido y que han emitido eh, de alguna forma eh, afectan eh, la credibilidad y y como la confianza en la democracia. Definitivamente este, este proceso electoral, esta, estas elecciones tienen más sombras que luces. Despite fears that Guatemala is moving towards authoritarianism, the country remains one of Taiwan's 13 diplomatic allies, a relationship that leading presidential contender Sandra Torres has vowed to continue if she wins. It's the third attempt at the top spot for the former first lady. She will be facing leftist politician Bernardo Arevalo in the runoff a surprise development as he wasn't projected to do better than Zuri Rios. The candidates will spend the next two months campaigning for what they hope to be the decisive round. But with almost a quarter of voters deciding to sit out the electoral process, what is at stake in Guatemala may be the state of democracy itself. Leon Lien and Harrell Hughes for Taiwan Plus.